Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Hell, Meantime, we're taking a look. See if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. God damn it, this is hopeless. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you... Think you can get it for us? Yeah, I'll give you a hand. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame though, it's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want. Deal? You can count on it. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. I heard this scourge came from... Space. Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? <laughs> you got it. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Those poor bastards! Once they're in there with those things still bumping around, take them out! Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. All the equipment's trashed or gone. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. I can't really turn you down now, can Without I? Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Or bloody walking corpses. Kelly. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will. 
but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Yes. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Cinemoid doesn't know what the fuck Excuse he's doing. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. Uh, it's in bungalow six in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? I can't really turn you down now, you. can I? Please, be careful. <clears throat> An alien infection is what it is. Bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Yes. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas.
what do we got here? My husband, he's bleeding. Can you help us? We need help. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell. When I saw that broke down car, part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. 
I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. You gotta believe me. But you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. I can't really turn you down now, can hey, I? Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. Getting tired. Living in the lighthouse? Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Hello! It's nice to see someone who is. Can't dead. be. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like. Jesus. Anyway. You better go see to James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you still alive. Where the hell did He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. Anything useful? James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Stephen is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that if you see him? 
that I miss him and, and I wish you were here with me right now. Talk to James first. He's the one in charge. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Sure. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Hey, unlike uh, Cinnamoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Sure. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Yeah. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. follow James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers powering the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. You got it. All right, good. The transformers are in the northern part of the gold bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darvin, by the way. I can't... I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Yes. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Where the hell did I put that?
What do we got here?
I'm so sorry, Tim. I'm so sorry. You weren't you. I didn't know what else to do. Jesus Christ. On my end. Wait, you're not my brother. He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here.
Something good in here? I'm so thirsty. Can't get me. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. I'll give her a shot. Oh. Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. You find anything? Oh, thank God! Thank you! 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 My muscles are starting to cramp up! I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? Yes. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. Oh, thank God. Thank you.
Hey! Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other Transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! Then useful. Alright, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking mad! Oh! 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 
Where the hell did I put that? Can you come? If you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. Yes. Go. Hurry. See what you can find. You find anything? That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. Please. Okay. If Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. That's it.